It's time for CCN Arts with segment star Anne Marie Villacano. Absolutely, and her guest shows off her work and tells us why she uses watercolors when she paints. Anne Marie? Hi, Mary and Derek. My guest today, Gail Garnerowski, is a plein air watercolorist who travels the world with paints and a sketchbook in hand. She served on the executive board of the Los Angeles Cathedral, the California Art Club, and the University of Southern California's Roski School of Fine Arts. Gail, you are just such a remarkable watercolorist, and I know that once you said something that watercolor is like magic, and it captures a moment that you can reflect on and see that piece. Tell us a little bit about your fascination with watercolors. Um, I, in school, I did all other mediums, and I went to USC. And then about 25 years ago, I discovered watercolor, and it was like, owns me now. I, I refuse <laughs> to do anything else because you never know how it's going to come out. And although you have a direction and a formula to creating the art, it, the magic happens in the washes and the, the paint moves to where the water is, but you never know how fast that water is going to dry. So it's really quite magical what happens. Now, sometimes you ruin it and you don't, uh, but then sometimes magic happens. So well, I know that we all wonderful. have had that experience as kids of, you know, not as experts as you, but of painting and then the more you use your brush, then it ruins the paper. So you really have to think before you place that color. Well, you have to have good paper. That's well, that's important. true. <laughs> it's, not, it's not like kids' paper that you use. It, you've got to have good paper, but um, it, it's just a wonderful medium. Yes, I mean, your paper you're talking about, it's such a nice, thick quality. Thick. Uh -huh. And do you want to tell us a little bit about the piece you're holding right well, now? Well, this is for the Breeders' Cup that's going to be at Del Mar in October. Mm. And this is just a beginning. These uh, three paintings, I'll hold um, these up for you. Will be at the Breeders' Cup. And of course, as you see, it's Del Mar. And so that, you know, I do different things. I did Santa Anita's Breeders' Cup last year. Can, but can you tell us how you do this? Because I can see that you have pencil sketch on this. Mm -hmm. And then how, what do you do from there? Do you wash it with water? I wash and then? it, and then I define it, and I will wash. Now, this whole area needs to be rechanged. But this was a nice wash behind, and each one of these horses will be a different color, and it'll just go like that. Oh, well, it's amazing. And then we have all these beautiful books. You have become an illustrator of books. Uh, yeah. So these are children's books. There are five of them here. Well, and I'm in the process of doing a new one um, on uh, Pacific navigation, primitive Pacific navigation which is a fascinating subject. Um, this is the Endeavor book. I know the children will love this yeah. one, Thomas the T-Rex and uh -huh. another Thomas well, this is, L. T-Rex, so it's in Spanish. It's in Spanish, it's oh, also wonderful. in Chinese. This, this book is Mei Ling in China City, which is in Chinese and it's about Los Angeles. And China City was in Los Angeles from 1937 to 47. And it's a story of two girls that grew up there, a Chinese girl and a Japanese girl. Then the Second World War happened, and the Japanese girl got sent to Manzanar. Um, they wrote letters, and they lost contact. And because of this book, both of them live in Los Angeles. They're in their 80s, and they found each other. Wow, a good story. Well, that yeah. is a wonderful story. <laughs> and I love that you have your beautiful mess, paints here. But so it's beautiful. <laughs> well, and you also have a current um, exhibit right now at the Santa Monica Museum that you call The Healing Journey. Well, actually, it's at St. John's Hospital in Santa Monica. And when I was asked to do uh, St. John's Hospital a show, their very first 75 years they've been in operation. And of course, they're in Santa Monica. And I just want to say that the McClure Tunnel, it's beautiful. when you come off the 10 freeway, and everybody feels this, you go through the tunnel and you come and you see the ocean. It just and makes that you feel is a healing <laughs> journey to it's see the ocean. Just to see the difference between those two. We all know that feeling. And then there's 40 paintings there in the lobby. 
Well, you are um, remarkable because I know you also design scarves and all kinds of other things. So clothes, just clothes, jewelry. You, you just are a piece <laughs> of art yourself. So yeah, thank it's you. really a pleasure. So thank you. if um, anybody would like to uh, see Gail Garner Roski's art, if you go on gailgarnerroski.com, such a treat. And hopefully you'll get to see even her exhibit right now. She has one of her pieces at the Autry Museum. So thank you again to our guest, Gail Garner Roski, and her beautiful watercolors. Back to you, Mary and Derek. Thanks, Anne-Marie. That's it for now. Thanks to Alexis Walker, Scott McAfee, Piper Wood, Philip Barbaro Jr., Anne-Marie Villacana, and Gail garner Roski. Yes, and we also want to thank the CCN Sunrise crew and the entire Crown City Network team. And of course, we want to thank our sponsors. Our sponsors include Foothill Transit, EH Financial, East San Gabriel Valley ROP, The Color Dots, The Smile Agency, NGOT Global Consultants, San Gabriel Valley Economic Partnership. We want to thank you for making this show possible. Absolutely, and don't forget to join us and visit, visit us on crowncitynews.com, the Crown City News YouTube page, CCN, CCN Sunrise Twitter and Facebook pages, KVMD Saturdays at 6 a.m., Sundays at 5 a.m. We'll see you next time.